Hi YouTube, this is WPB Teacher 8 again, and I have a uh, Vera Bradley Disney haul for you today. Um, if you watched my other video um, of items I was taking on my trip, I recently went um, just for one day to Epcot in uh, Disney World with my daughter. Um, we live two and a half hours away from Disney. So it's not too far away. It's kind of nice. We can go there and back in one day, but we made like a three-day trip out of it. But um, anyways, if you saw that video, one thing I said that I wanted to get as a souvenir for me was a piece of the Vera Bradley Disney print. And um, I just wanted to show you, if you're not familiar with this already, um, Vera Bradley, I think, currently has four prints of Disney. Um, the first one is this pink one right here. Oops. <laughs> okay, it looks like this. It's kind of the bright pink. Let me go back. Um, it's kind of, it's called Mousing Around, and it's bright pink background with the little uh, Mickey and Minnie, kind of like the old-fashioned one. And this one's called Midnight Mickey, which is the black background with the Mickey and Minnie. Um, then they have this one, which I think is where is Mickey or something? And it looks very similar to Lola, except it's blue, green, and white. And then the little Mickey heads are kind of like hidden within the pattern. So that's a nice one if you don't want something that has, you know, Mickey and Minnie Mouse on it. You know, just like that. So they have that one. And then they just came out with one called, I think, Mickey's Perfect Petals, which looks a lot like a uh, flower shower. I believe it is and then you know you can just see the little Mickey heads in there too so this one and um, this one are obviously more discreet you know the Mickeys are in there and then these two are, are more obvious so um, I didn't know which piece I was gonna get I either wanted to go to the Vera Bradley outlet and buy a bunch of stuff there or I wanted you know, a piece or two of um, one of these pieces. And it was kind of up in the air of what I was going to do. What happened was we went to Epcot. We were there from 9 in the morning to 8 at night. And, of course, we were exhausted by then. And the Vera Bradley outlet was, um, you know, I didn't want to go there being really tired, you know. And at that point, my daughter just wanted to go back to the hotel and chill out. Um, so we went through all of Epcot and then when these patterns came out in September, they were only sold at World of Disney, um, which is in downtown Disney. So I kept telling my daughter, oh, we're going to go to downtown Disney on the way back to the hotel because I want to see if they still have any of these pieces. Well, like I said, by the time eight o'clock rolled around, we were tired and I was just like, oh, forget it. I'm not going to get anything. I'm not going to go to Vera Bradley Outlet. I'm not going to get a piece because I was just so tired and the Vera Bradley outlet was closer to Epcot than it was to our hotel. So I knew I wasn't going to want to drive all the way back to the outlet in the morning. So I had basically just given up on the fact that I was going to get a piece of uh, Vera Bradley Disney. Well, sure enough, we were uh, walking uh, through Epcot. And of course, I said, we'll do the souvenir shops at the end. So the very last store we went to in Epcot uh, was called Mouse Gear and it's basically like the biggest souvenir store in Epcot that has all the Disney stuff and they had a whole wall of the Midnight Mickey and they had a whole display of this pattern as well um, they didn't have any of the pink she says it sold out um, but and they did not have any of um, this from what I understand I think this is still being sold Maybe at Downtown Disney, I'm not even sure. Or it's limited edition to certain people, I don't know. But I'm not crazy about this pattern anyways. I don't really like that one that much. This one this one was okay. I liked that one. That one was real pretty. But I really wanted a piece of the Midnight Mickey. So, I'll show you what I got. Um, when we got to Mouse Gear, they had the whole wall of Midnight Mickey. And so I picked out a piece. And you might be able to tell by the size of the bag. The bag's huge. And I got... Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I got the Vera Tote in the Midnight Mickey. And they only have eight styles um, 
that you can get with the Vera Bradley. It's like the large duffel, um, a, a zip ID, a hipster, a large cosmetic, and a few other ones. There's only eight. It's not like every style of Vera Bradley they have in the Mickey print. But uh, what was nice was they had probably, I'm going to say about 12 of these. And what was so nice was I could actually go through all of them and pick out the one that had the best pattern placement. Now, unfortunately, um, if you order these from the website, which you can get, you don't know what your pattern placement's going to be because they're just sending it to you. And something interesting as well is um, I got onto YouTube and there were some videos of the Vera Bradley opening for this where people are standing in the line like three and four in the morning to get into the store to buy these. And even when you got in store to buy these, you had a paper you had to fill out and then you gave it to this person and they pulled the pieces that you wanted. So in that case, you couldn't even pick out your pattern placement as well. They were just giving you one and then you had to take that one. So I guess I'm kind of lucky that Epcot's kind of close where it's not so far where if I wanted to go back, I could get another piece and I could pick out my own piece. Like I can look at the front and the back and decide which one I like the best. So out of the 12 that I looked through, this one had the best pattern placement because it had the most Mickey and Minis on it. So, you know, there's one here, there's a face there, there's two of them here, there's two here, he's here, and then right here too. So that's a, that's a lot of Mickeys for the front. I mean, some of them I saw, like the, you just saw like their feet, like the faces were cut off or, you know, maybe this one was like over in the crease or the seam. And I was kind of surprised because, you know, if you're paying a lot of money for this, you want one that has good pattern placement. So this one was really the best one and had the most Mickeys out of the bunch. So that's the front. And then on the back, if you can look, there's a perfect pattern placement right here on the pocket on the back. Plus there's another Mickey there and one over here. So I was just, this one was the best. I was really happy with this one. That's the bottom, but you're not going to see that anyway. There's a little bit one there. But anyways, I was really happy with the pattern placement on this one. And I was very excited that I could actually go and pick out my own and look at all the ones they had and pick out the one with the best pattern placement. Um, if the normal viewers that you buy from the website are $86, this one was $99. So the Vera Bradley Disney pieces are definitely more expensive than what you'd get on Vera Bradley, but it's kind of like a limited edition thing. So really this is like the, this is the only souvenir I bought and I really wanted it. Um, I'm a school teacher and I can get away with carrying this to school, even though I'm 43 years old. Um, and I liked that it had the black, so it's going to, you know, not get as dirty as much. So that's, oh, let me show you the inside real quick. It's got the toggle here. And then the inside, if you can see, it's kind of like a little flower pattern like that. There's no um, Mickeys or Minis, okay, except for on, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, all the way down there in the bottom on the, here, let me see if I can... Oh, no, I can't. Well, I can't pull it out. But anyways, look, I even got lucky down there. There's Mickey and Minnie's down there for the base. So anyway, so that was really my souvenir I got from Disney. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, it was $99, but really that's the only thing I bought. So for me, that's not too bad. I'd rather get one nice thing that I know I'm going to use and like a bunch of little junky things that will be $100 too. So... Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the box below. Thanks for watching. Bye.